All right, so here I have the Geco J1000 Pro 7.1 surround sound gaming headset. Let's do a quick unboxing, show you everything that comes in the package, and then I'll give you a little bit of my thoughts. All right, here we go. We have the box here. Let's open this up. All right, so here's everything that comes in the case. Uh, you got your headset. You got your microphone detachable, you got your pop filter, and you got your 7.1 uh, surround sound adapter, uh, USB adapter for computer, and you get a carrying case. The carrying case, like I said, is mesh. Uh, it is see-through, so you will get it. You will get wet if you decide to carry this on the outside. This will get wet. Uh, the mesh itself is actually padded, so you do have some padding. So it's best to just put this in the in a backpack somewhere when you're carrying your headset. Uh, we will put this to the test, we'll try them out, see how they sound, see how they work with the PlayStation 5, see how they work with the computer, and then I will get back to uh, letting you guys know what my initial thoughts after using it. All right, so I have been using these headsets for a little bit over a month now, uh, and I will tell you, the construction's solid. The construction's solid. You have this metal piece here, everything else is plastic, but you have the metal piece comes up and down. Uh, you have adjustability here for your left and right. The padding is very soft. Uh, I can't complain. I wear glasses. I have been able to wear these headsets for hours on end without any issues at all. Uh, no complaints, no bothers, no nothing, right? Uh, and then I'll tell you, the, the sound is actually pretty good. They're not noise canceling, uh, so you still will get background, you know, if, you have, if you're in a loud environment. Uh, so they're not noise canceling, keep that in mind. Uh, but also, they're very, very good as far as uh, for gaming goes. You know, when, when you're listening to music as well, they're very good for listening to music. I have no complaints and no issues on that aspect at all. Uh, also, the microphone, you know what? Let me switch microphones. We're going to put these on, and I'm going to do the rest of the review with these on. That way you can hear what the microphone sounds like. Okay, so here it is. Here's what the microphone sounds like. We're going to do the rest of this review with the microphone. No processing, no nothing. You're going to get... You're getting the voice, my voice, exactly how it comes out. Everything that I hear, everything that everybody else will hear, you're now gonna listen to. I will tell you this, the microphone does have noise canceling. So if you listen, I'm gonna talk here real quick and then I'm gonna quiet myself and then you'll hear the noise just kinda die down. Okay, so you hear that? See, I'm talking again. And that's to say that I have a fan going. I have an overhead uh, ceiling fan going. I have the AC going. My computer fan's going. And in here, it, and it cancels out the background noise. Listen again. All right, with that being said, we're going to move on a little bit here. So here is the little adapter. This is your USB adapter. Your 3.5 microphone uh, connects to this adapter here, right? So you have your cable. Uh, by the way, the cable from the headset to the adapter is a little bit over four, uh, four feet. Same thing from uh, the adapter to the USB uh, at the computer end. You have a little bit over five feet. So you have about approximately nine and a half, almost 10 feet of cable here. So if you need uh, that length, just know that you have that. You also have this clip on the back so you can clip this to your shirt, clip this to your pants, clip this wherever you need to clip them. Uh, you have your uh, mute button here so you can slide mute on and off. And then I have the mute back so now you'll be able to hear me. Uh, it has this nice green glow, uh, if you can see it there. And then you have your adjustability for volume up volume down same thing mic up mic down uh, and then the middle button uh, when you press it that enables your 7.1 surround sound without this you do not get 7.1 surround sound so you press that and it glows and now you have 7.1 surround sound and I can hear the difference in the microphone uh, I can hear the difference in my headsets right now just me talking uh, on this video and then I'm gonna disable it there. Now I'm back to the 7.1 surround sound off. I will tell you, I tried this uh, with the, with my PlayStation 5. I tried gaming on the PC as well. Uh, for me, for me, and again, this is personal taste here. Uh, for me, I don't like the way the 7.1 surround sound sounds. Now, keep in mind, right, that you have no volume controls from this all from your headset all the way down to this controller 
so you don't have any way to adjust your volume mics or anything on your headset itself there's no inline control and here i am messing everything up but there's no inline control from here all the way into this adapter to the usb adapter so you need this in order to be able to adjust the volumes up and down and I, again i tried the usb connection with my playstation 5 you can use this with your playstation console but i did not get adjustability capabilities plugging this in through usb uh, for up and down the 7.1 surround sound worked with the PlayStation 5. I could hear the difference. Uh, but again, you can't adjust the volumes uh, on your headphones with this on the PlayStation 5. You physically have to go in and adjust it in the game menus, right? So you press the PS button, go into your audio section, and then you adjust your volumes there. Same thing with the microphone, press the PS, PS, PS button, go into the audio section or the microphone section, adjust your audio there, right? So you have to keep that in mind. So even if you plug in the USB, you're not gonna be able to adjust on the PS5. What I suggest, just because this is personal, right? And I don't like the way the 7.1 surround sound sounds, right? Because it sounds very hollow. I'm not gonna say that it doesn't work because it does, it does work. You get that spatial audio, you get the ability to hear what's behind you, below you, above you, right? So it does work. It does do what it says it's supposed to do. But personal preference, personal preference, right, for me, uh, it was one of those things where I just, it sounded too hollow. It sounded too hollow for me and I didn't care to use it. What I ended up doing is I plugged this uh, 3.5 and I can't unplug it now because then you won't be able to hear me. But I took the 3.5, plugged it into the PlayStation controller and then I adjusted the 3D audio effect from there and that sounded much better for me. Same thing when gaming on the PC, I tried uh, the 7.1 surround sound and it works, but for me, it sounded too hollow. So I had to adjust and I tried and I did it with the spatial audio instead on the PC and now worked better for me. But again, that's a personal preference. I suggest you try it out. Me personally, I have no major complaints about the headset. People that I've talked to using the headset say they can hear me fine, uh, that everything sounds good, everything's copacetic, and we're good to go. So no, no issues with voice communication there. Uh, so I don't have any major issues with the headset other than the fact that there is no inline adjustment and you have to use this controller in order to be able to adjust your volumes for your microphone and your, uh, and your volume for your headset for your sound that's coming from your game or whatever it is that you're listening to, whether you're listening to music or whatever, you have to use this. You could also use the PC volume, which that works as well uh, if you're using it for PC. This gaming headset, I will be honest with you, it is very good. It is very comfortable. It is very comfortable. I use uh, the Eska E900 Plus. Uh, these headsets I've been using for a while now. Uh, and the, the, the difference between these Gco J100s and these is that these have built in 7.1 surround sound, but they're USB only. So there's certain applications that I myself find that I can't use them for uh, in certain circumstances. And again, for music, these headsets are great. Uh, so I have no complaints. I have no complaints. These headsets have found a place uh, in my daily use where I will continue to use these uh, regardless. So sometimes I might use the Gcos, sometimes I might use the Esca. Either way, I will suggest that if you can get these headsets on sale, they are actually a great value. For about $50, I think is what they run. Uh, because I bought these out of pocket and I bought them on sale. But if you can get them for under $50, they are a great value. And adjusting, if you're going to use some of your PlayStation or your Xbox, adjusting where the, uh, in the in-menu controls is not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. Anyways, you guys, you guys let me know what you think. Put it in the comments. And until next time, remember to stay inadequate.